Let's review the forever purge. Yeehaw! Stab and shit. Okay, as soon as the water tower exploded, I knew it was produced by Michael Bay. It definitely rises above the previous purge movies, which isn't saying much, but it still falls below par. The, the cast is fine, they're just kind of there. Now, that being said, I would love Ana de la Guerra and Tenoch Huerta to be the protagonist face of this franchise if it continues, because they're great. The story is exactly what every purge movie is. Good guys think they're gonna be fine. Weirdos and masks come after them. They almost die, but they don't. The end. The problem with these movies is they preach how bad the purge is constantly and that the villains enjoy senseless violence and then the company makes an ass load of money off of said violence because America. And at least this one had a meaningful plot and the director was great at making the shtick as new as possible but I, I would have rather just seen him direct his own movie because the purge concept is tired and it has been for a while. I, I read this movie had the lowest opening of any in the franchise though and that's not deserved. I, I would say support it and support the director and cast. That being said, two and a half out of five stars.